So today we'll be looking at 15 days to CLAT, right? So to exactly take it, so we have 15 days left for the CLAT examination, so which is happening on December 1st, okay? Now, so far we would have done many things. We would have uh, followed or we would have tried many strategies, okay? Now, with a very, very short span of this time, 15 days or two weeks left, okay? What are the things that we need to focus on? See, eventually we would have tried a lot of things, okay? Uh, we would have been preparing for the past two years or one year or six months or four months, whatever. So during this course of time, you would have prepared with a lot of uh, strategies. Okay. So you would have taken so many mock tests, right? So maybe in the mock test, the, in the first mock, you, you would have tried like uh, in the same order, starting with English and then current affairs and then legal, logical, math. So going like this. Okay, maybe in other mocks you would have, uh, you know, found your comfort zone and maybe you would have started, you know, uh, in a different approach. Let's say, for example, you started with the legal first because it, it has a maximum weightage. Okay, and also a scoring part. Okay, so when we look at uh, exam perspective also, when you look at, yeah, so when you look at the exam perspective also, if two students are having the same mark, Okay, so how will uh, the preference in ranks would be given based on legal, legal reasoning score, right? So whom, uh, whomsoever gets higher legal reasoning score, okay, so we'll get the higher rank, fine. So uh, a few would start with the legal, then move on to the other sections in any order, okay. So this is something that few would have done and few would have uh, done also section-wise strategies. Okay, so English means I'm going to approach like this. Okay, I'll quickly read through the passage and I'll go to the questions also. I'll quickly read them. Then if I if it is required, I'll dive in deep and analyze the passage. Okay, uh, maybe like that. But later on, you understood that, okay, that does not work or it's working for someone. Okay, so if it doesn't work, you need to read completely, understand the passage and go uh, to the questions. Okay, so each and every section you would have find out some strategy. Okay, so all these are the learnings you did so far. Now, what about the remaining two weeks left? So we don't have enough time to do the trial and errors now. Okay, so by now we would have uh, found, okay, you know, a strategy in which you can maximize your attempts, maximize your score, right? So, but... The one thing that you need to remember is the learnings that you have got. After each and every mock, if you have, you have analyzed each and every mock in the right way, of course, okay, then you would have got a lot of learnings, okay, fine. So the, the, the learnings that you got is so significant, which will actually help you in the examination. Because when we speak about mock test, they're not all of same level. Okay, so a few examinations, few mock tests that you write are easy, few are moderate, few are difficult. So you cannot expect a consistent score throughout all the examinations. Okay, or sometimes what happens is in a particular mock test, English would be very easy, legal would be very challenging, math would be very easy. So in a one mock itself, you have this wavering. In another mock you take, English will be very lengthy and hard to understand and answer. Okay, legal would be very, very easy and simple. Again, math will, would be difficult. If you take current affairs, there would be topics which you have never heard about. Right, so each and every mock you know, uh, is actually designed so that whether the exam is so easy for you, whether the exam is so difficult, okay, or moderate, whatever the scenario is, you should be able to attempt with confidence. That's why the mocks are designed in such a way. Okay, you cannot say the mocks that I am writing are so easy, the actual clarity will be so difficult. You cannot say the actual mocks I'm writing are very difficult. The CLAT will be very easy. Okay, so you cannot expect anything like that because the last year, they broke the stereotype. Consortium of law, okay, they broke the stereotype by making the question paper very, very, very easy. 
okay so that made most of them to attempt more number of questions okay and uh, the cutoff spiked right so it it can happen okay so whatever the scenario is we should be ready to face it that's what is important so you need to develop the confidence or you would have already have uh, have the confidence within you okay so just stick to that that is more than enough because you have written many tests okay you understood many mistakes that you are committing okay uh, you know these learnings will only uh, boost your confidence and also help you to face the paper without any challenge Okay, so let's discuss about, you know, what are the significant things that we should keep in our mind and do during these two weeks. Okay, so I'll give you some time for asking doubts also, so that if you have any doubts, you can uh, post it uh, to me. Okay, fine. So that we can discuss your doubts as well. Now, the first thing at this point of time, see, previously we had a strategy session like this, in which I did not emphasize the scores at all. But nearing to the examination, the only thing that you would be thinking about is the score that you are going to get because ultimately the scores will determine your ranks and ranks will make sure you get a seat in your dream law school, right? The national law schools. So when we speak about scores, we need to understand what are the good scores to get into the top law schools. So there are 25 national law schools. Again, they have some ranking. Right. So there are uh, established law schools who have been in the uh, in, in, in the country for more than 15, 20 years. Right. So that's how uh, the significant rankings go. So when we speak about that, when we speak about that, what happens is the one thing that comes to our mind is good scores. What is the score that one need? Okay, what is exactly the score that one needs in each and every section? Okay, fine. Uh, to make sure we get into one of the top law schools. Okay, then there is something called as what is the you know basic cutoff, the baseline to reach so so that I'll be able to get into any one of the national law schools. So these would be the major doubts that you might have. So let's discuss upon that. Okay, uh, see, this is according to me or according to uh, the research that I did, okay, or let's say career launcher did. So this need not necessarily be the same. Uh, there are multiple factors which would uh, reflect here. Fine, for example, the level of the examination. If the level of the examinations are easy, what I'm showing is easily doable. Okay, if the level of the examinations are moderate, this is slightly difficult to reach. If the, if the level of the examination is so difficult, then what scores I'm going to show is like uh, very, very challenging to get. Fine. So it depends upon the level of the examinations, various factors, uh, you know, is involved here. Right. So first, we know it. we have taken many mock tests. So anyways, so this is what is expected. Uh, as we look at uh, the pattern of the examination, English has 24 questions, GK and current affairs 28 questions, legal reasoning with 32, logical reasoning with 24, quant with 12 questions, right? So this is exactly our, uh, the pattern that we had the previous year. Okay, the one thing that changed in the previous year that we need to understand this, number of passages got reduced, okay? Fine. So when it was 150 questions in 120 minutes in the year 2023, the examination, there were like six passages, six passages in English with five questions in each. Okay. So giving uh, 30 questions in a particular section. Okay. But when we look at the previous uh, examination in 2024, the exam 2024, which happened in December 2023. Okay. When we look at that, the number of questions in English were 24 because the number of questions, the total number of questions were also reduced to 120. And what they did is they gave six passages with four questions in each of the passage. Okay. So the, uh, making the number of passages less and number of questions more, ultimately what? Reducing the strain for the students. Okay. But we need to keep in our mind if you are feeling it easy, to read and answer the questions, it's the same for all the students who are facing 
this examination. So this would be an advantage for all the students then. Okay, and can we be certain that even this year the same thing will happen? Even before applications of clarity, no. Yeah, we were not certain about this factor. After the applications of CLAT, after the official mock test the CLAT consortium has released, we are very uncertain about this. Because if you take the official CLAT mock test, how the pattern is? The passages are, are uh, comparably small and you have two questions under this, okay, which is slightly similar to what we can see in ILIT. Okay, All India Law and Entrance Test. Okay, but they have given such uh, you know questions, such a pattern of questions, such a model of questions in the sample test given or mock test given by the CLAT officially. Okay, so which means that can also happen. That is why I think you have a, you had a couple of marks which had like uh, you know eight passages in English or eleven passages in logical. Okay, so you had such pattern also when it comes to your mock test. So even if that is happening, we should be ready to face it. Okay. So the number of questions are going to be like 24, 25. If you take English, GK and current affairs 28 to 30. Okay. So legal reasoning 30, again 28 to 32. Okay. Something like that. Logical reasoning 24, 25 questions and quantitative 22 questions. So this is what the pattern is going to be. Fine. And again, I would always say, even if they are including analytical reasoning, either in logical reasoning or quant, we should be ready. Okay, because before the year 2020, okay, there were analytical reasoning questions in CLAD examination. So only from the year 2020, that changed. Okay, so which means we should be ready whatever happens. Okay, so now let's look at the good score. After understanding, you know, this is the pattern that used to happen. And now also we are going to stick to the same pattern. But how these 24 questions are asked, with how many passages, that can differ in whatever way. Okay, let's be ready to face it. Okay, now going to the uh, important, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So the important thing here is the score that is required. Okay, so when we take English 24 questions and I have given the good score as 20 to 21, yes, which is easily possible. Okay, but only if you have attempted 24 questions, all 24 questions or a minimum 22 questions, getting 20 or 21 is possible. Let's say our accuracy is very good. You attempt 24 questions or 23 questions or 22 questions and getting 20 is possible. So attempts are important here. Similarly, GK and current affairs, 28 in total. So getting 23 to 25 would be a good score. In legal reasoning, there are 32, I have given 25, 26, but it might change, it can change because most of the students can score in legal reasoning. So this 32 questions, if you are able to attempt all 32 or 30, and if you still get 25, 26, okay, it's good. Then logical reasoning is a challenging part for most of them. Okay, so 24 questions getting 19 to 20, depending upon your attempts and in quant, 10 to 12 questions is what we can expect, right? 12 questions, if, if we say as per the previous year and the mock test that we are taking, okay. So we should be able to get nine to 10 out of 12, okay. If it is 10 questions, then at least seven to eight, right? So this is what I'm uh, telling you as a good score, 96 to 102. So what does this 96 to 102 shows as a good score? For the top three national law schools, okay, we can say this would be the good score, right? Because you can ask yourself, why do you say, you know, this, you already go for this 96 to 102 or 96 to 100. Why are you taking this range more than 95? Because whether the exam was for 150 marks, whether the exam was for 120 marks, okay, the students who are getting into these top national law schools, okay, their score remains where? more than 95. See, the cutoffs are different depending upon the level of the examination, whether it is easy or difficult, the cutoffs, the lower cutoffs for getting into any one of the national law schools are different. Okay, if you take previous year, it was around 80, 
the year before that it was around 70 the year before that it was different 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 okay to get into any one of national law schools for a general category it was around 80 if you take 24 okay especially for trichy right so uh, why, why was that around 80 because the examination was easy but if you take the students who are able to get into the top law schools like bangalore hyderabad kolkata so if you look at these kind of law schools top law schools okay the students with scores more than 95 they were able to easily get into these law schools regardless of whatever the number of questions are 150 also 100 was like the safe score for getting into the top three national law schools when it is 20, 20 also 195 to 100 it's a safe spot for getting into top three national law schools see that is why we are looking at these as good good scores okay Yeah. Now, uh, speaking about scores, and uh, when we when we speak about the base score, I think we we need to consider the previous year only. Okay. So previous year's paper was so easy, and people were able to get what easily marks. Okay. And uh, well, how how can we say that? How do we say that the exam was so easy the previous year? Because the answers were straightforward. They were available in the passage itself. Most of them were referential. Okay. So the years before current affairs, uh, current for current affairs section, you cannot find the answers in the passage given. You have to proactively solve them with your knowledge. Okay. But the previous year for a few current affairs uh, questions, okay, the answers was readily available in the passage only okay so logical reasoning english legal all these sections were easy even the math was so easy okay so what happened here people were able to easily score and that is the main reason the cutoff you know jumped around 78 to 80 to get into any of the national law schools okay now we have to take that scenario because we have to always consider the worst case. Fine. So if you look at uh, a lack of students taking these examinations, many would have prepared, many would have not prepared. Okay. So the people who have prepared will know the significance of current affairs and math. Okay. The people without preparation or they come and write this examination just like that. Okay. Fine, so uh, these kind of people will be able to score well in which section? Yeah, yeah wherever you are able to read, understand and answer, like reading comprehension, legal reasoning and logical reasoning. These are the sections where any student with good reading ability and comprehension ability will be able to score. Okay, and total number of questions in the reading section is how much? Look at uh, others, English. Legal reasoning, logical reasoning. How many questions you have? How many? How many questions you have? You have 24, 24 and 30. Right. So 70, 8 questions, around 80. So here and there in current affairs, if they have confidence in math, they go for it. So this 80, which was actually the cutoff, in the previous year, okay, would have been possible only with good accuracy in these three sections, English, logical and legal. Okay, so without even giving enough practice or preparation, a few students would have been able to achieve this 80 as a score. Now let's think about this scenario. Any student who have attempted, okay, almost 100 questions, which includes current affairs, and quant okay would, would uh, these students have got with good accuracy also with practice i'm saying okay would they have got more than 80 yes because they are confidently attempting more than 80 questions 
apart from english legal and logical if you are confident only then you go for current affairs questions and you answer only then you go for math and you answer because you know about it you have put time and effort in it you have negative marks and so only if you are confident you go for current affairs questions and answer only if you are confident you go on math and answer okay so when are you making sure you get more than 80 you attempt almost all questions let's say all 80 questions look okay, let's discuss about that right so in in english you have a total of 24 questions in legal you have 32 logical 24 GK and current affairs 28, quant as 12. Let's take the same pattern as that of the previous year, 2024's exam. Okay, fine. So this has a total of 78 questions. Okay, let's say you attempt all, hmm? sorry, 80 questions. Then why did we see here? Okay. Percentages, oh, sorry. Yeah, 32, my bad. Okay, so a total of 80 questions, right? Now let's take, uh, you know, on an average, you're attempting all 80 questions, okay, with good accuracy. How much do you think you can score in this? With good accuracy? Hmm? 75, okay, this is a very good accuracy actually. Getting 75 out of 80 items. Okay. Because if you, uh, if we assume that you make two, two mistakes in each section, it's less than 75. Okay. So if you're uh, making only five mistakes out of 80 items, then it's a very good accuracy. Okay, let's have this 75. Now, is this enough to reach the previous year's cutoff? No. Which means you should have had knowledge on GK current affairs and point. Only then you would have reached at least the 80. So out of 28 questions, how many questions do you think you will be able to attempt first of all? Yeah. All 28 you will be able to attempt. See, if we let's simply compare the previous year paper. Okay, let's forget about how easy they were. But I want you to understand the pa uh, pattern. Okay. They, there was a passage which spoke about Chandrayaan, which happened in the last six months. So students would have felt easy to answer. The other one was like from G20, again from the last six months, students would have felt easy to answer. The other was from Israel Hamas. Okay, fine. So that was also from the last six to eight months, especially in the news it came. Okay, but the, it has been happening for a long time. Fine. So these three were the recent news, from the recent news, current affairs. The other two passages were what? Jalianwala Bagh and Ambedkar speech during the constitution, launching of the constitution, right? So these two were the other two topics. So if you look at this examination, let's say it is happening again, three passages, okay, from the current affairs, last six to eight months, two passages from the history. How much you are certain about? How much you are certain about? These three passages which happened recently, we, we might be certain about. The history, if they are easy or if it is familiar, okay. Especially during the time of independence, we might have some knowledge about it. Okay, apart from that, it is very difficult. Okay, so now tell me how many questions you will be able to attempt. Hmm? Let's look at the maximum first, then let's come for the minimum minimum scenario. Okay. You will be leaving at least a couple of questions then, which you have no idea about. Okay. So let's say you are attempting some 24 questions. How much do you think you can score out of this? Maximum 24 you should be able to get. Let's say even then you got confused with some options and you make some mistakes, commit some mis mistakes. You get. 20 out of this and you are uh, attempting some 10 questions in math and you are able to get 8 with some good accuracy actually in current affairs and quant you will be able to get whatever you are attempting 
but I'm still uh, making this, you know, because let's say you're careless and you're committing some mistakes. Now, when you look at this with 75 in reading, 20 in current affairs and eight in quant, okay, so you're able to get a score of how much? 103, so you're able to cross this. So this is a kind of attempt in accuracy that one has to look at it. So totally how many questions were attempt? 103 were there, huh? mm. So attempts? So 80 and 24 plus 10, so 114, right? So 114 attempts and getting 103 as your score, Okay, is 103 uh, your score? No, 103 is rights exactly. Okay, now you have to consider the five questions here, the four questions here, and the two questions here. So there is, a, there is like a 11 questions. Yeah, you have to reduce 2.75. Okay, so you are getting a 100 plus. So to make sure you reach this 100, okay, the number of questions you need to attempt is 114. Okay, more than 110. Are you able to understand? So if you are, if you want to attend more than 110, then you definitely have to reach these two sections, current affairs, GK and math. Okay. Now let's come to the worst case. So this is, I'm speaking about the best case. Your accuracy can go even beyond this. Okay, you can be very good uh, in, in your terms and getting it all right also. I'm just, see, let's say for example, I am attending this. Maybe I'll commit these kind of mistakes. That's what I'm making here. Okay, I'm on, uh, th this is all word. We cannot say everybody who is writing or whatever expert a person is, he will be able to score. Okay, so if, if, even if I write now in a particular year, I will be able to get only 60. In a particular year, I will be able to get 100. In a particular year, I will be able to get 80. Right, it depends. Okay, uh, we, it's uncertain again because the current affairs topics matters. Okay, fine. So only if I am also keeping updated to myself, if I go to the examination, I'll be able to get the current affairs. And again, coming, coming to the history, I cannot remember everything. Okay, so it depends upon how well we have prepared. If I am going to write CLAD examination also, only if I have prepared with something, if I am updated, I will be able to score well. Right. So since I am teaching some current affairs topics for you, I am sharing with you some information, I am also a little bit updated with current affairs. And math is yes, we can do, the other sections we can do it. Okay, so this is something like, you know, yes, this looks or this seems doable. Okay, now let's go to the worst case. Okay, in each and every section in English, okay, you're able to attempt. Okay, for comparison, let it be there. So, in English, you're able to attempt only 20 questions. Okay, in legal, you're able to attempt only 26 questions, let's say. In logical, you're able to attempt only 16 questions. Current affairs, 20 questions or you are not even attending math. You are not confident. Okay. So out of 20 questions attempted, how much do you think you can score? 80 now. Huh? <laughs> Let's say 18. Because instead of attempting 24, you are consuming the same time. You are attempting only 20, which means your accuracy should be good. Okay, so 18, out of 26 here, let's say 22. Okay, out of 16 here, let's say 12. Because it is logical. It's okay, it's Alice. And current affairs also, well, let's decrease something, 15. Okay, now this gives us a total of how much? Let's take both attempts and uh, score. Attempt wise, if you see 20, 46, uh, 62 and... Is that? Hmm. And uh, I'm going to say 82. 82. Okay. 
So, uh, 15 reduced. Just 3.75 again. Okay. So, you are getting 63 plus, 64 plus. Fine. This is the score. So, if this is your attempt and if this is your score, then is it possible for someone to get into any one of the national law school? Yes or no? Definitely not. Fine. And so I'm giving you a worst case scenario with taking so many mock tests, minimum 10 mocks you would have taken by now. Uh, if you have joined regardless of, you know, uh, whenever you, you have joined, right? One year back or two year back or six months back or two months back. Okay. If you are serious about this, you would have, you must have taken 10 mocks by this time. Minimum, right? So if you are able to attempt only 80 questions, then eventually you are, or obviously your score is going to be in your 60s. Okay. So you need to focus on which area it is going to be the number of attempts. So if you want to increase your number of attempts, we have to touch this current affairs section and math section. Only then you will be able to increase your number of attempts. Okay. So that's why we have uh, this, you know, good scores here, which is like more than 95. to get into one of the top law schools. So this 80 to 95 is the range for the other law schools. Okay. So again, I'm not telling you that this is going to be the exact scenario because if the exam is difficult, okay, everything that we are discussing will be ulta. Right, the cutoff would come to more than 90, not more than 95, more than 90. Might, or even though the exams are easy, earlier it was there, right? Earlier, even when the exams were difficult, the top national law schools, 95 and above was the cutoff. That is why we are telling that to be the good scores for getting into top law schools. Whether the exam was easy or difficult, whether the exam was for 150 or 120, 95 and above, Okay, made the students made, made the students to get into one of the top national law schools. Okay, top three to five national law schools was possible. And I define an above. And obviously, we would also look for that. Right. And again, when we speak about the previous year and compare, even a student in general category, okay, only uh, he or she got 80 and above, 82, okay. Fine, 81, 80 and above was uh, requirement for getting into Trichy National Law School. Since we are in Tamil Nadu, I am specifically telling this. And there are also some seats reserved for the students of Tamil Nadu in Trichy. Okay, so that is why we need to know the significance of the number of attempts. Now, what to do, sir? Uh, what can I do, sir? I am able to attempt only 80 questions now or 85 questions or 90 questions. I am not able to attempt more than this. What can we do? Because that, sh that should be a question in you. If you are a student who is attempting 80 or less than 80 at this point of time, okay, so you should be having this question in you. I am able to attempt only this. So what is the next step I should do? I have only two weeks left, 15 days left. Yes. So can, can you, uh, can I uh, give randomly the answers for the questions? Practice. You have very less time. Okay. Hmm. Right. We need right answers. Attempt is not the problem. We need right answers. Sir. Sure. Yes. In a probable case, we have we can improve the See, Accuracy is right. Again, I'm asking you this question. You are attempting 80 questions and you are getting all 80 wrong. Are you still certain that you have a chance of getting into national law schools? No. That again, the exam is very easy. You got 80, but the cutoff is 85. That is a chance. Okay, so accuracy matters. I'm not saying accuracy doesn't matter. With a good accuracy or a decent accuracy also, you need a more number of attempts. Okay, only then you'll be able to achieve what is required. Fine. So we need to understand, okay, where you're going wrong. 
the best way to understand where you're going wrong is to analyze the mocks. Okay, take the previously taken mock test, understand what kind of mistakes you have committed, especially if those mistakes are with options, okay, then you have to be very, very concerned about it. So even now, if you're missing this, then it will be what? No use of preparing for CLAD. Okay, so at least now what you should do is you have to take the previous mocks, not every mock, uh, you know, together, take the previous four to five mocks and take a particular section like English, let's say, try to understand what kind of mistakes you have committed. Okay, so take uh, legal reasoning and check what kind of mistakes you have committed, take logical reasoning, understand what kind of mistakes you have committed, was it a careless mistake? Okay, uh, was it, uh, you know, confused with the options, you know, uh, was it your problem with understanding what was given, right? Uh, like this, you need to understand like what kind of mistakes you committed. Okay, this is one way to understand why you weren't able to score, improve your accuracy. Okay, so uh, this is okay. This is a basic thing. Fine. With this, would we be able to increase our attempts? Not exactly. We understand our mistakes. Okay, now the second point, if you observe the remaining questions, I'm going, uh, so far I spoke about the first point was about the questions you attempted and went wrong. The second point that I'm going to speak here is the unattempted questions. You take up the unattempted questions and see whether they are of same passages. Okay, you left the entire passage or they are of different, different passages. You have to look at that. Okay, now if it is a complete passage, okay, what you should do is you need to quickly read and answer it. That is the only thing that we can do. With, with zero idea about the passage, you go to question and answer the question, then what will happen? You will end up choosing the wrong one. If you are very lucky, it will be right. Okay, but at least having some idea about the passage, you quickly read through uh, the passage and go for the questions or go to the questions. Okay, the normal way of solving. Go to the questions, match some keywords and try to answer it. Now what happens? 50-50 chance. You have a 50-50 chance of choosing your answer. Why? Because if you have some idea about the passage, about the question, clarity of the clarity in the question, you will be able to eliminate at least one or two options. You are left with two options. You have a 50-50 chance of answering. Now at least within these two, you give some uh, one question as your answer. Okay, so you are uh, you are not completely guessing the answer here. Fine. So you have a 50-50 chance of either of them can be right okay and you need to think mathematically here let's say a passage has four to six questions okay so with some understanding you do the same strategy you are able to eliminate some two options you're able to two options you attempt you attempt one question right and you attempt four questions wrong attempt one question right and four questions wrong how much gain or loss for you zero you attempt one question right, you commit three questions wrong. What is the gain or loss for you? 0.25 gain. Okay. But if you do it randomly, you will not be able to achieve this. If we have some idea about passage, if you have clarity on questions and options, only then you can mathematically approach this. And you cannot do this for all the questions. Definitely it will not work out. You will have 50 questions right, 50 questions wrong. You cannot do this for all the sets. You are confidently answering 80 to 90 questions. Attempting 80 to 90 questions or 70 to 80 questions. Now left out is remaining 30 to 40. Okay, for those 30 to 40 questions only, you can do this. And this should be distributed among the entire paper. Because I am telling you consistently, divide time for each and every section, manage time. English has 24 questions. 25 minutes is the time that you have to give 
the maximum for english if you're able to do it in 20 i'm very happy 25 minutes legal with 32 questions give 35 minutes logical with the 24 questions again give 35 minutes because logical is critical for most of them so i'm telling you 35 so 35 35 is 70 plus 25 how much is over 95 remaining you have 25 minutes for quant and current affairs so have this in your mind let's say you spend only 20 minutes in english you spend only 30 minutes in logical you now have 10 more minutes Invest this 10 minutes wherever you want legal with more questions i need more time okay spend there or quant slightly difficult i have to spend more 10 minutes in quant spend there got it so these two points that i'm telling you please keep in your mind first point try to understand your mistakes that will reduce your number of mistakes second i'm attempting uh, i'm attempting only 70 questions or 80 questions what should i do with the remaining questions time you should have some buffer time wherein you can use the strategy that i'm telling you to attend the remaining 30 to 40 questions okay now you're not asking me any questions that's what i am worried about what if i'm not able to eliminate two options if you are able to eliminate two options, you are left with two options, then only I am asking you to go with anyone. Correct? If you are not able to uh, what? eliminate two options, get two options, leave that question. I am not asking you to attempt all 120 in this way. Are you able to understand? I am asking you to maximize your attempts using this way. Right? So if you're not able to eliminate two options, irrelevant options, and two kit, and option stop on a munilana, it is better to leave that question because there you have a high chance of may committing mistakes. Are you able to understand this? So these are the two points that you need to do to increase your accuracy and increase your attempts. Sir, I'm already attempting 90 or 100 questions, 20 questions are I'm not able to reach it. Use the same strategy for this 20 questions also. Okay, fine. Because one question right writing na naale question tapu pantra variki the one question kapa to maintain your score. Okay, so that is the only thing. So with less number of questions, yes, you can do this. With more number of questions, you are doing this. Okay, you will get a lot of mistakes and uh, negative marks. Sure, the score will not at all improve. You know, normal accuracy would have score of the come here. Hmm. Same if it is from if uh, these questions are from GK and math, whatever I said is the same is applicable. If you are able to eliminate two options and if you stay with two options, if you get stuck with two options, only then go for one of the answer. Otherwise, leave the question. Okay, fine. GK, current affairs or math are not the same thing. Should be applicable. Totally how many questions in uh, quant and GK together? 40 questions. Right. So, in the 40 meaning attachment you have to worry. And the 40 left 50 percent 20 you know, 20 and 75 from the remaining you attempt 95 with good accuracy you'll be able to score 85 all right if you're able to get more than 20 out of the 40 questions from point and uh, current affairs then you have the advantage that's it yeah, so we have already discussed about this, but anyways, I'll tell you. So that uh, your doubt is, uh, if the passages passage is lengthy, you have like four to five paragraphs in each. So when you completely read all the paragraphs, you're forgetting what you have read in the previous paragraphs, right? So it's very simple. Uh, we need to itemize. Okay, itemization means take the first paragraph, read it, understand. Make a small note. First paragraph says what? It is about what? 
introduction about the topic or whatever. Okay. Uh, then second paragraph is about what? Some evidences, examples about the topic. Third, problems, disadvantages, drawbacks of the topic. Topic. <laughs> Fourth, conclusion. It's the opinion of author. Okay. So you need to understand paragraph by paragraph. Give some small notes. If you're not doing this only, you're forgetting. Okay. Now, if you have this small, small note with each and every paragraph, okay, you go to questions. If the question is specific about something, and again, you know where to find the answer also, which will save your time. So if passage is lengthy with more number of paragraphs, you can do it. And I also told you, if it is a logical reasoning, which has like only one passage, or one paragraph in a passage, okay, what to do? Break it into sentences. One sentence is lengthy, make it, uh, you know, break that sentence and understand. Or two, two sentences put together. If you make it into sentences and if you understand, you will be easily able to find the conclusion of the argument also. Try to break and understand. Only problem would be the time that you consume will be slightly high here. But when we look at accuracy, then we have to spend it. No other choice. Okay, fine. Rumba peri difference rikal. Idu ko adu ko. Ning enna pannreenga over paragraph a padi stay varinge. Okay, apdi padi kira pada initial class na angandu marandar the. Kudave note panna boringe. It is going to take some more seconds for you. Not even a minute. A few more seconds will be added. That's it. It will not make a big difference. Context. Context means what? The context of the passage. See, context of the passage is very simple. For most 90% of the passages, read the first paragraph and last paragraph, you will be able to understand what is the paragraph or passage about. But if you have to answer that, you will have to answer that. If you have to say what is the passage, first paragraph and last paragraph, you will have to learn that. That's why you have to learn that. Are you able to understand? Yes, that uh, I'm going to discuss about that. I'll come to that point. Okay, I'll come to that point. Fine. Uh, okay, so for now, I wanted to give a clarity on scores. Okay, and attempts. A lot of significance. This is the right time also. Like 15 to 20 days, we have to worry about the attempts especially. Not even the scores, but the attempts. Because if you do the attempts, we can reach the score and reach the score. Right. That's the basic reason. Okay. Now I think you got the idea about the attempts and uh, scores. Okay. Now, uh, to achieve this, what we should do? Very simple. If you do the score, if you do the attempts, if you do the practice, then you can do the practice. Right. To achieve this, what we should do? First, Ask yourself these questions. Who chose law as your career? See. This generation is having, at least according to me, okay, a way more privilege and way more choices. Right. So law was it your uh, predominantly was it your father or mother or brother or uncle or you? That's the question. A few might be a few might be exceptions, but apart from that, yar suspanna, why a thorana solunga? Who chose this as your career? Huh? Yekla. Who decided that law is going to be your career? Myself. Ah, myself. Right. So your choice is as your career. Sorry. Next. Which law schools are top? Delhi. National law schools, of course, in India. And among them also, we know Bangalore, Hyderabad, Delhi, Calcutta. So all these are there. So you know it. You are aware about it. And why is this a question now? You know, to reach the top law schools, what should be done? That's what we discussed earlier. Trying, I'm trying to relate why these slides are present here. Okay. Then, where should you pursue? 
you know what are the top law schools now tell me where should you pursue your law as a career for for the say interest that what what they can see obviously thousand people are telling i want to get into bangalore we know that only 200 will get into bangalore okay see, so see. who are these 200 let's take it as an example okay so who are these 200 those who are confident enough to say yes i'll be able to get in and the content kuda illa na you cannot even dream about getting into bangalore and do you agree with me in cake matter you should agree with me on this point if you are not having a confident okay if you are not having the confident to write an examination to get a score which is the requirement for a particular law school and if you think how can i make uh, you know this possible then you will not be able to make it possible doubt if you doubt yourself itself you are you will not be able to make it okay among 1000 people all 1000 say i'll be get into i'll be able to get into nlsu bangalore okay then that is the healthy competition we are looking at ana inga eludra ella 1000 me vandu enak bangalore kedaikino nu nenikrangala no among the 1000 people who are writing this examination okay first another state will come and another state liye irukkaradhukku choose panna try pandranga okay அது ஒரு ஹண்ட்ரட் போயிடும் ரிமைனிங் நைன் ஹண்ட்ரட் இஸ் தேர் ஹூ ஆர் கம்பீட்டிங் ஃபார் த டாப் லா ஸ்கூல்ஸ் அந்த நைன் ஹண்ட்ரட்ல ஃபிஃப்டி பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆர் நாட் ப்ரிப்பேர்ட் அட் ஆல் ஃபிஃப்டி பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆர் ப்ரிப்பேர்ட் அந்த ஃபிஃப்டி பர்சன்டேஜ்ல இன்னொரு ஃபிஃப்டி பர்சன்டேஜ் மேத்தே அட் பண்ண மாட்டாங்க ஓகே ஸோ தேர் வில் பி த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அவுட் ஆஃப் தௌசண்ட் ஹூ ஆர் ஆக்சுவலி ப்ரிப்பேர்ட் ஃபார் attempting more than 110 questions okay appo da avanga na adha luck score panna mudiyum are able to understand so if you look at this uh, 1 lakh people who are writing this examination i am very sure very sure 50 percentage students would have not completely prepared for this examinations appo 50000 na competition in and the 50000 la 50 percentage 25% 25000 of students math vittruvanga remaining 25000 is there okay so who are competing for 3000 seats clear and the 3000 la oruthra nam irupom illa adhula or 10 percentage 300 la oruthra nam irupom okay because you have uh, 300 seats 300 rank learning one thing or 400 rank learning one thing na you have a good chance of getting into top 2 national law schools or top 3 national law schools clear yeah. so you are dreaming about getting into one of the national law school you know which you are doing okay where you want to pursue you decided to, to write clat why clat to get a national law school so now what do you want to do idu varaikku endha lokku efforts potamo endha lokku endha lokku prepare pannamo adhe mari panna poduma or should we do anything extra what do you want to do to get into your dream law school to get into one of the top law school to get into your dream career what are the things that you have to do yeah the first thing is priorities uh, a few people are not uh, here anyways i will share this with everyone okay and if they are watching it then they will be able to understand the significance of why these points are you know discussed you have to prioritize so in the time since you have only two weeks it will be six months ku munadi 10 months ku munadi you are getting na in the mari prioritization na solla matta since you have only two weeks i am speaking about the priorities see you have chosen your career as a law and the significant exam for that is happening in december first of december <coughs> you have two weeks left okay at this point of time what should be your priority preparing for clat or uh, your academic projects or school works or sports movies entertainment yeah are your concerts nadakum 
ஃபுட் ஃபெஸ்டிவல்ஸ் நடக்கும் ஓகே ஸோ நம்மளோட ஃபோக்கஸ் எல்லாம் அதில் கொண்டு போகணுமா இல்லை யூ ஹாவ் அ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் ஈவெண்ட் ஹேப்பனிங் யூ ஹாவ் ஷுட் யூ கோ ஃபார் தேட் தர் இஸ் அ கல்ச்சுரல் ஈவெண்ட் ஹேப்பனிங் ஷுட் யூ கோ ஃபார் தேட் இல்லை ப்ராஜெக்ட்ஸ் நிறையா இருக்கு அசைன்மெண்ட்ஸ் நிறையா இருக்கு யூ ஹாவ் டு டூ தேட் ஆர் சிட் அண்ட் ப்ரிப்பேர் ஃபார் கிளாட் நான் எதுவும் உங்களுக்கு சொல்லல யூ நீட் டு ப்ரையாரிட்டிஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு கிவ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் டு வாட் ஷுட் பி டன் ஸோ ஒன்லி இஃப் யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு ப்ரையாரிட்டைஸ் அண்ட் யூ நோ டேக் அ டெசிஷன் நவ் ரிமைனிங் இருக்கிற டைம் ஆச்சு வில் பி ஏபிள் டு வைஸ்லி யூட்டிலைஸ் ஆஸ் சிம்பிள் ஆஸ் தேட் ஓகே so after prioritizing and you make your decision okay the remaining you can continue to do okay fine so if you prioritize that clad preparation is the uh, ultimate thing i want during this 15 days left out okay then we need to look at what are the available resources i can make use of okay in these 15 days fine apart from our classes apart from the test mock test you are writing okay or uh, that uh, mock test will also be included here just do a small math and understand there are mock tests previous year papers sorry typically how many mock tests we have 60 yeah in total 49 in 50s ஸ்கெடியூல் உண்டுக்குல்ல அதெல்லாம் பார்த்தீங்களா ஹவு மெனி ப்ராயின் மார்க்ஸ் ஹேப்பன் ட்வெண்ட்டி செவன் ட்வெண்ட்டி செவன் தான் நினைக்கிறேன் அது ஓகே ட்வெண்ட்டி எயிட் ட்வெண்ட்டி செவன் ஏதோ ஒன்று வி கேன் ஃபிக்ஸ் இட் ஓகே ட்வெண்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் கூட வச்சுக்கலாம் ஏதோ ட்வெண்ட்டி செவன் ட்வெண்ட்டி எயிட்ல சண்டே ஐ எம் சேங் ட்வெண்ட்டி சிக்ஸ் okay if it is more than this it's okay so only no it's okay for us right so 26 prime marks okay if you have joined for a two year course if you need editing okay you would have had an access for warm up marks six how many countdown marks we are writing yeah, only how many over 22 how many left out actually four more if you include uh, ilet also so you have a total of 26 which we are certain about okay so uh, how many 26 and 26 52 plus 6 58 okay so let's say you have 55 plus mock tests with you okay previous year papers start from 2020 adukku munadi la kuda vera start from 2020 to 2024 how many papers five papers how come four 2024 oda examination pona december liye mudinjiruche neenga 2025 kana exam la eludhringa try to understand that all the that also is included இதெல்லாம் சொல்லணும் கவுண்ட் ஒன்லி ஆல் இண்டியா மார்க் இன்க்ளூட் கவுண்ட் ஒன் நைன் இஸ் கவுண்ட் ஒன் நைன்டீன் வாஸ் ஆல் இண்டியா மார்க் டூ ஓகே கவுண்ட் ஒன் ட்வெண்ட்டி வாஸ் நைன்டீன் ஒன் நைன்டீன் அந்த மாதிரி தான் ஸோ கவுண்ட் ஒன்ஸ் பதிலாக தான் ஆல் இண்டியா மார்க் இருக்கு ஸோ விச் இஸ் ஆல்சோ இன்க்ளூடட் இன் கவுண்ட் ஒன்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ யூ ஹாவ் ஃபைவ் பேப்பர்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ அப்போ யூ ஹாவ் அ மினிமம் ஆஃப் சிக்ஸ்டி கம்ப்ளீட் பேப்பர்ஸ் வித் யூ ஆஸ் ரிசோர்சஸ் i'm speaking this will be your primary resource you need to focus on okay ask me why is this primary because this has everything english practice pannuma irukke current affairs practice pannuma irukke math practice pannuma irukke legal practice pannuma irukke everything is present if you take these na next 15 days ku da preparation e panna poran solravanga kuda i'll say take this as strategy okay 
இதை எடுத்து டெஸ்ட் கூட எழுத வேணும் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணும் கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸ் ரிவிஷன் பண்ண மாதிரி ஆயிடுச்சா மேத்துக்கு இந்த மாதிரி மாடல் கொஸ்டின் தான் வரும் எப்படி ஆன்சர் பண்றதுன்னு அட்லீஸ்ட் சொல்யூஷனை பார்த்தா தெரியுமா யூஆர் கெட்டிங் அவேர் யூஆர் கெட்டிங் அவேர் அபவுட் த கொஸ்டின்ஸ் த மாடல் ஆஃப் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அண்ட் மேத் இங்கிலீஷ் இப்படி தான் வரும் லீகல் இப்படி தான் வரும் லாஜிக்கல் இப்படி தான் வரும் ஒரு ஐடியா கிடைக்குமா அண்ட் இஃப் யூ டேக் அப் மோர் பேசஞ்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் ப்ராக்டிஸ் ஓகே ஃபிஃப்டி பர்சன்டேஜ் யூ வுட் கெயின் அ கான்ஃபிடென்ஸ் ஆஃப் அட்டெம்டிங் திஸ் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் அப்போ இந்த ஃபிஃப்டீன் டேஸ் மட்டும் தான் ப்ரிப்பேரே பண்ண போகிறோம்னா கூட திஸ் வில் பி வெரி ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல் அண்ட் திங்க் அபவுட் யூ பீப்பிள் ஹூ ஹேவ் ஆல்ரெடி ரிட்டன் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த மார்க் டெஸ்ட் ஓகே ஆக்சுவலி யூ ஹேவ் அ கப்பிள் ஆஃப் மார்க் டெஸ்ட் லெஃப்ட் so these would be the primary resources for you to practice you might ask me sir revision apdi pandrathu illa matter idu podu this is enough current affairs revise pananum i think that is also a question here right how to revise current affairs right in front of you Apart from this, we have said you important topics. Correct? And the important topics you can you can revise. Take mock test, mock test. Like on the topics, all that much you can revise. Okay, that's it. This is how you revise current affairs and GK. Got it? About the revision class, uh, revision classes. Yes, you will have revision classes for current affairs. ரிவிஷன் சென்ஸ் அகைன் ஒரு சில இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டாபிக்ஸ் நம்ம ஆல்ரெடி ஷேர் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் இல்லையா ஓகே அதில் ஆல் த டாபிக்ஸ் கே நாட் பி அகைன் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் இன் கிளாஸஸ் அதுக்கு மறுபடியும் இட் வில் டேக் அவர்ஸ் ஸோ இந்த ரிமைனிங் டைம் லெஃப்ட் வில் ஹேவ் சம் ஃபோர் டு ஃபைவ் கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸ் கிளாஸஸ் வேர் இட் வி ரிவைஸ் சிக்னிஃபிகன்ட் டாபிக்ஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் ரீடிங் காம்பிரஹென்ஷனுக்கு எதுக்கட ரிவிஷன் அவ்வளோதான் இதுக்கு மேலே நான் உனக்கு என்ன ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி சொன்னாலும் ஃபிஃப்டீன் டேஸில் ஒன்றும் சேஞ்ச் ஆகாது இது வரைக்கும் என்ன இருக்கோ வி ஹவ் டு ரீட்டைன் தட் அவ்வளோதான் சிம்பிள் சி ரீடிங் ஆர் இம்ப்ரூவிங் யர் ரீடிங் ஸ்பீட் ஆர் காம்பிரிகன்ஷன் அபிலிட்டி கே நாட் பி இம்ப்ரூவ்ட் இன் தீஸ் ஃபிஃப்டீன் டேஸ் ஒரே ஒரு விஷயம் தான் பண்ணணும் நிறைய பேசேஜ் எடுத்து சால்வ் பண்ணணும் அது ஒன்று தான் சொல்யூஷன் ஓகே தட் இஸ் அ ஒன்லி சொல்யூஷன் ஃபார் இம்ப்ரூவிங் யுவர் reading speed and comprehension ability you need to solve as many passages as possible because only two weeks left out nothing else is possible <clears throat> clear up so these resources are the best available resources for you at the moment okay if you break this down you break this down and see in english minimum how many passages are there four okay you you have uh, 60 papers with you how many passages 240 passages we are looking at 240 passages okay into six questions each ingra point of view la neenga solreenga appo 1000 440 questions do a revision you have a scheduled mock happening la edukada mock irundha adha mattum mock test eduthukonga meedhi ellam eduthu revise pannunga try reading the passage answering questions again kandipa illa marandirupinga warm up mock la eduthado illa prime mock 1 2 3 la na pannadhu now you will not remember for sure ரைட் ஆ டூ த்ரீ மார்க்ஸ் முன்னாடி டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ண கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸே எடுத்து திரும்ப இப்போ கேட்டால் நமக்கு தெரியாது மறந்துருப்போம் இட் ஹியூமன் நேச்சர் அத்திங் ராங் இன் தட் ஓகே ஸோ டேக் அப் ஆல் த மார்க் பேப்பர்ஸ் அண்ட் ரிவைஸ் வித் தட் ஓகே ரைட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் வாட் அபவுட் லீகல் ஹவு மெனி பேசஞ்சஸ் ஃபைவ் பேசஞ்சஸ் 60 papers 300, 300 passages with e- how many questions in each 6 hmm. ane vechikalam okay so 
1800 questions logical same as that of english you will have 240 passages yeah and 1440 questions ipo mukhyamana vishayathu varum current affairs and gk in each mock you have questions mundu paathukalam in each mock you have 28 seriya so 25 nu kuda vechikalam okay how many questions 1500 questions okay then let's come to the another important one quant two set two set so you have 120 sets of maths okay which has five one kuda vechu pom a total of how many questions 600 questions so i'm asking you idha thavara vera enna venu practice pandradhu yeah 1000 1000 1000 4000 5000 6000 and 7000 questions are there okay to practice what else is required even if you look at uh, uh, the passages okay you have 240 uh, 480 780 then you have uh, 8 and 1000 passages are there math setting seta Quants, uh, the current episode topics are there are thousands of passages for you to practice what else is required uh -huh. can we cover about 50% of the uh, paper paper like 30 to 50 papers yeah see idu ellame panni da aganum na solla again whatever is possible for you to do you you can do it so what is the maximum it is up to you நைட் ஃபுல்லா உட்காந்து படிச்சோம்னா நீங்க எல்லாமே ஃபுல்லா கவர் பண்ணலாம் பட் அந்த நைட் ஃபுல்லா உட்காந்து படிக்கணுமா அப்படிங்கிற டெசிஷன் யார் எடுக்கணும் நீங்க தான் எடுக்கணும் இல்லையா அதுக்குன்னு பகல்ல படுத்தவங்கன்னு சொல்லக்கூடாது பகல்லையும் படிக்கணும் அப்படி சொல்ல வர ஓகே ஸோ இட்ஸ் அப் டு திஸ் த திஸ் இஸ் த அவைலபிள் ரிசோர்ஸஸ் ஐம் டெல்லிங் யூ இவ்வளோ விஷயம் இருக்கு நம்ம எப்போ வேணுமோ எவ்வளோ வேணுமோ அதை யூஸ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் திஸ் இஸ் அவைலபிள் immediately with us kannu munadiye nama kaiyiliye idella irukke idella nama use pannalam use panna yes it is possible idella evlo use pandrom gurde secondary first idella idu da idu podum nu ungalku first theriyanum you need not go beyond what is already available illa engiyo poite ella neenga theedave thevilla okay uh, for now you have to stick to what is available with you that is more than enough idaiye cover panna mudiyadhu nu ungalku thonudhu அப்ப இதை தாண்டி எதுக்கு வெளிய போறீங்க ரைட் சோ அபார்ட் ஃப்ரம் आवर லைவ் கிளாसेस அபார்ட் ஃப்ரம் தி மாக் டெஸ்ட் வென் யூ கெட் டைம் யூ نو बिकॉज when we speak about the scheduled mock test in the future okay அதுக்கு அனாலிசிஸ் நீங்க பண்ண போறீங்க சோ அந்த டைம் எல்லாம் போக மீதி இருக்க டைம்ல பிராக்டிஸ்க்கு நான் என்ன பண்றது ப்ரோ இவ்ளோ இருக்கு பண்ணுங்க அபார்ட் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் ஐ அம் गिविंग यू வைட் previous year mock papers you know could cry if you want you can take it and practice there are worksheets available you can take it and practice are able to understand so resources na paatha kotti kadagudhu right ana enna nam konja late ah vandha adhi mandrom adha dhaan problem okay so that's not a big deal at all because you have to manage your 12th as well uh, with the clock preparation but these 15 days you can dedicate your entire time because idha namak vela idhu vera vela illa inno or 15 days ku if you keep uh, highlight slot also in mind inno or 25 days ku namak vera end thoughts irukka koodadhu we have to focus only on the preparation okay so these are the available resources that we have in our hand make use of it okay let's jump to the next part now for the reading section for the reading section what can be done i think uh, already we have discussed here okay reading section what should be done 
I'll just summarize only here because we have already discussed uh, the significant points. First, uh, take previous marks. Okay. And understand your mistakes. It is the first one in your reading session. Because reading section la dhaan, amnala adhigama attempt to do. We can maximum attempt in reading section. We can maximum score in our reading section. Okay. And the third important thing is we would be uncertain about our answers in the reading section. Correct or not? We are answering it. We are answering it. Actually, correct or not? Only if you know the answer, you will come to know. Right? So, we have to take all the previous marks. Right? So, we have to take all the previous marks. அது ஒன்னா எடுத்து ஒன்னா பண்ணணும்ங்கிற அவசியம் கிடையாது டேக் த்ரீ த்ரீ மார்க்ஸ் ஃபோர் ஃபோர் மார்க்ஸ் ஃபைவ் ஃபைவ் மார்க்ஸ் அட் அ டைம் அண்ட் ட்ரை டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் மிஸ்டேக் வாட் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் மிஸ்டேக்ஸ் யூ ஆஃப் கமிட் இன் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி செக்ஷன் ஓகே ஃபைன் சி ஏன் இவ்வளவும் பண்ண சொல்றேன்னா அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் த மிஸ்டேக்ஸ் வில் பிகம் அ மசல் மெமரி ஃபார் யூ இஃப் யூ ட்ரை டு டூ திஸ் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்காவே ஒரு கொஸ்டின் நீங்க வழக்கமா தப்பு பண்ணிருக்கீங்க நிறைய மார்க்ஸ் வேணா அந்த கொஸ்டின் போறப்பயே யோர் மெமரி வில் டெல் யூ நீ யூஸ்வலா இங்க மிஸ்டேக் பண்ணுவ நோ பி கேர்ஃபுல் சோ தட் டைம் ஏதர் யூ வில் ரீட் த கொஸ்டின் ஒன்ஸ் அகைன் கிளியர்லி ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் கிளியர்லி ஆர் யூ இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் யூ வில் ரீவிசிட் தி பேசேஜ் அண்ட் தென் யூ டேக் அ டிசிஷன் இல்லையா பெட்டர் யூ வில் லீவ் தி கொஸ்டின் அந்த டிசிஷன் டக்குன்னு எடுப்பீங்க அப்படி டக்குன்னு டிசிஷன் எடுக்கணும்னா வாட் யூ நீட் யூ ஷுட் ஹவ் நோன் the different ways you commit mistakes adikki the ponan okay second simple practice okay we know available sources okay now when you do these two it will leave with the third one அது ரெண்டையும் நீங்க நல்லா பண்ணீங்கனாலே யூ வில் பி ஏபிள் டு ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் யுவர் செக்ஷன் வைஸ் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி ஆல்ரெடி இஃப் யூ ஹவ் ஃபவுண்ட் யூனோ சம் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி டு டீல் வித் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி செக்ஷன் யூ கேன் கண்டினியூ த சேம் அதுவே ஓகே இல்லைனாலுமே இது ரெண்டையும் பண்ணீங்கன்னா ஒவ்வொரு செக்ஷனையும் நான் எப்படி ஒரு இண்டிவிஜுவலா அப்ரோச் பண்றதுங்கிறது உங்களுக்கு தெரிஞ்சிடும் ஓகே நான் வள யூஸ்வலா இங்கிலீஷ்ல என்ன மாதிரி மிஸ்டேக்ஸ் பண்றேன் என்ன மாதிரி கொஸ்டின்ஸ் கரெக்டா பண்றேன் ஓகே அப்படிங்கிறத தெரிஞ்சிச்சுனாலே இங்கிலீஷ்ல எப்படி அப்ரோச் பண்றதுன்னு உங்களுக்கு தெரிஞ்சிச்சு சேம் அப்ளைஸ் டு லீகல் ரீசனிங் அண்ட் லாஜிக்கல் ரீசனிங் ஓகே ஸோ வித் ரீடிங் செக்ஷன் திஸ் இஸ் வாய்ட் யூ நீட் டு டூ கிளியர் இட்ஸ் மூவ் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸ் இன் ஜிகே so many uh, we're asking so november la epo varaikum padikirathu yeah november 1 to let's say 20 is something more than enough november 20 varaikum okay you can focus more than that i don't think can be uh, a part of the clad examination okay so till 20 is more than enough fine so this part june to october is very very significant okay fine very very significant from june to october the reason we know it if you take any paper in the past 5 years okay there are a minimum of 2 to 3 sets from last, last six months simple லாஸ்ட் சிக்ஸ் மந்த்ஸ்ல இருந்து தான் ஸோ இப்போ டூ டு த்ரீ செட்ஸ் நம்ம சொல்றோம்னா அரௌண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டீன் டு எயிட்டீன் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஓகே இட்ஸ் அ ஷியர் ஷார்ட் ஃபார் யூ இஃப் யூ ஹவ் ரைட் இஃப் யூ ஹவ் கான் த்ரூ த டாபிக்ஸ் த நியூஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஜூன் டு அக்டோபர் ஓகே ஸோ நான் மறுபடியும் கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸ் ப்ரிப்பேரே சரியாக பண்ணலன்னு சொல்றவங்க கூட வாட் ஆர் த டாபிக்ஸ் தட் யூ ஹாவ் டு லுக் ஃபார் is from the month of june to october now we will set the goal that's it okay <clears throat> so if you know the topics from jan to may it's again very good okay or at least 
we are sharing you some important topics okay or mocks la cover irukirathu those topics please revise and recall when it comes to january to may idhukku munnadi manasum theriyumna very good okay but these june july august september october months current affairs news from these months are very 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 significant so you have to start revising so even when you revise okay you can start revising in the reverse topics are to revise pandringa month wise revise pandringa if it is month wise revision okay go and reverse order first october september august july june reverse la pannana revision pandra pa kodu okay because much important should be given to the last six months clear okay the next significant part is the quant section right so again from the previous five year papers if you take ungalke theriyum what are the significant topics yes percentages averages ratios okay so percentage of application away on the path you know you will have profit and loss simple interest and compound interest okay so based on all these three only you get a lot of caselets in your examinations or data interpretation so when you take up and revise or practice also we'll focus on this in a kind of extra time irukna other topics like time and work time speed and distance uh sequence and series apgp var mari topic mensuration because in the 2020 paper there was a question there were two questions actually based on mensuration in the area okay perimeter of a square rectangle either base panni vandu paathina there were questions okay so mensuration uh, arithmetic progression geometric progression time speed and distance time and work these are the other topics if you want you can prepare with okay fine and again make use of the available resources you have 60 papers along with mock test and previous year papers adala irukra quant set alla eduth try pannunga that's why in the next couple of weeks also we have uh, different questions but we will be mostly discussing the previous year papers logical reasoning legal reasoning quant ellame on the reading comprehension everything will be mostly uh, focusing on the previous year questions only okay Uh, and apart from that you will have mocks and you will practice with the available resources that you can do it from here okay so focus abdin pata this is the focus if it is quants these are the topics we are going to give importance okay right let's come to the next part now test taking uh, strategy see <clears throat> when you go to the exam hall during the actual exam day okay apart from whatever preparation we have fine or chinna pressure kandipa irukku yaarume illa nu solla mudiyadhu no one can say i have no pressure during you know an examination because this is going to be deciding our career at least in uh, national law schools okay abhi irukapo there will be a bit of pressure okay so <clears throat> only if you have priorly strategized something you will be able to at least apply that during your examination try applying during the examination appa next 15 days ko nama mock test la enna na vishayatha focus pananum practice pananum so that it will 
uh, also help us during the actual examination. Apringarada test taking strategy in Solu we are going to discuss. Okay. So the first thing is open mind. Where, uh, whether it is a mock test or even the actual examination, have an open mind. I have taken like 40 mock tests, 50 mock tests so far. You have Okay. In the other mock test, okay, let's face it. Actual class line, okay, let's face it. You are prepared with so many passages, so many questions. So whatever it is, you will be able to face it. Simple. So have open mind. Okay. Quante varla. Okay. Let's attempt. Quanta nariya question on the Okay. Let's attempt. Logical reasoning, analytical reasoning. Sorry. Classes not on chalya data arrangement. Calendars. Uh, blood relations. Number topics po chalya. Yes. So we have awareness about it. Patience. Do it. Logical reasoning la. Syllogisms, questions, statement assumption la. Okay. Let's do it. We have awareness about all these topics. Right. So we are going to attempt it. Okay. So if you are thinking about if you start thinking about this way, then you will start panicking. If you start thinking in this way, you will not be able to focus and answer the questions in the right way. So, you will mind prepare your mind. Time. Initial 10 to 15 minutes, you will relax. You will have to settle down. Only then you will start the examination. So you will not have time. Right. So for the one idea, in the mandala pathilam. Abdira mindset way, you have to go. Summa one of the pathilam or Mudu Gorla. We are not simply saying that, okay, let's face it. We have taken so many mock tests. We have discussed previous year papers. Previous year paper at the Nino Solvani Bagringa. If no one at the Kapura, share it. Only by then you get the start, okay, path of Right? Not simply we are going like that. Okay. So that is why it is having an open mind. Okay. Whatever happens, okay, let's face it. Because we are prepared, we have put so, so much of efforts. I mean, next 15 days, we are going to put so many so much of efforts. So if low effort put okay. Will be able to answer. Okay, so have that kind of mindset. Then try whenever you take mock test, try to take during the exact time, not just clat now. It is also eyelid happening in the same time slot. Okay, not eyelid on the eleven to one not on the Last couple of years it happened morning eleven to one. Now eyelid is also scheduled. In the afternoon slot, two to four. So you are preparing uh, for both or practicing for both these examinations now, attempting them in the afternoon, two to four. So CLAT now, IELTS now, whichever mock you are taking, take it during the actual time, two to four only. Okay, because that would be the peak time where we would be exhausted. That's one reason. Okay. So uh, another uh, reason is another reason. Yeah, another reason you have to do this is actual exam two to four and look in the thoughts on distractions of Varakura. So you are getting practice to that. Okay, so overcoming the exhaust exhaustiveness, first reason, second getting used to it. Okay. So these are the two significant reasons you need to do this for sure. Right. Nane Mande Maka Mani Yelingan Sonala Ningana Son Lesser, I'll take it only during two to four. Abdulli afternoon is related, you have to do it. Okay. Lord question paper barla abdina or three o'clock eleven solo. Right. So afternoon la panning Sundays now we are taking it at one o'clock. So muna pinna. But the mindset is we have to take it in the afternoon. Maybe after having some lunch or something. Okay, I'm practice it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Already at 12 30, early away, I'm going to do it. Okay. OMR. So stop taking tests online. 
so far if you haven't taken the test online try to get omr sheets and practice with omr sheets romba 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 focus da neenga panna vendiyadhu omr marking edhu varaikum lethargic ah mark pannirikalam okay see or circle irukke appadina you have to fill this circle because it is not a human who, who is going to check right wrong and all unga oma master appadi tuck nu eduvaanga appo tuck nu scanner ku eduvaanga the scanner is going to decide your fate okay so which means the entire circle should have been encircled okay neenga ipdi scratch panninga appadina okay it will go outside the circle for sure okay fine same way what you should do is what you shouldn't do is இப்படியே பண்ணிட்டு விட்டுறக்கூடாது அவ்வளோதான் நான் ஷேர் பண்ணிட்டேன் முடிஞ்சு ஐ ஹேன் சைட் இஃப் தே ஆர் கேப்ஸ் இன் த சர்க்கிள்ஸ் ஆல்சோ இட் வில் நாட் டிடெக்ட் ஆஸ் யூ யூ ஹேவ் ஆன்சர்ட் இட் இஸ் அன் அட்டம்ப்டட் ஓகே ப்ளீஸ் ரிமெம்பர் ஸோ வாட் யூ ஷுட் டூ ஸ்டார்ட் ஃப்ரம் தி சென்டர் அண்ட் கவர் இட் கம்ப்ளீட்லி சின்ன சர்க்கிளாக இருந்து பெருசு பண்ணிக்கிட்டே போகணும் ஸோ தட் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் you will be able to shade the entire circle clear this is one way to do okay to cover it or otherwise what you can do yeah from outside to inside first enna pannunga periya circle ottiye try to draw small small circles and we have to shade it completely okay idhe mari circles draw panni draw panni ninga enna pannanum you have to complete sharing so few would have practiced with this few would have practiced with outside to inside whatever is comfortable for you you can do it but you have to make sure what there are no gaps no spaces left in between full learning enna panirnu we have to share and complete it ena idu moolama light vandu they are whatever the scanner is the light student pass through it okay and another uh, significant point is earlier before the previous year ipo na or question thappa mark panta abadina question na thappa mark panta i understood that i am marked wrongly what i can do is i can shade another circle i can shade i can shade another circle so that what will happen now rendu option la edhu correct edhu nama shade pannanu solittu the scanner cannot judge so it will take as unattempted unattempted epo before the previous year from the previous year on the admit card le the mention aidha varu when uh, once your admit card is released you can see that if you are uh, if you are marking two circles as your answers it will leave you with negative marks என்ன நீங்க மிஷினே கன்ஃபியூஸ் பண்ண பாக்குறியா அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு தே ஆர் கிவிங் யூ நெகட்டிவ் மார்க்ஸ் லாஸ்ட் இயரே இது அட்மிட் கார்டே இருந்துச்சுடா ஓகே அட்மிட் கார்ட்லயும் இருந்துச்சு இதே மாதிரி நம்ம டிஸ்கஷன் பண்ணோம் ரைட் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் ரொம்ப முக்கியமான விஷயம் டூ ஹார்ஸ் 20 120 minutes na stick to the time you know or 5 minutes or no or 10 minutes no two hours is the entire time for you to share do everything okay so you have to stick to the same phone to two hours timer vekkareenga na you have to stick to it two hours you have to complete everything that's why i'm giving you the omr at least 5 minutes earlier because in the relevant details na elidirenga in the actual examination you have to uh, write uh, and shade your application number and question booklet number only these two vera edhuvume inga irukadu okay i think only two fields were there okay in the actual examination okay vera edhuvume irukadu only in our mocks we have like name uh, date uh, date of birth ellame irukku date of the examination la irukku so only i am giving you the one more earlier okay and uh, another uh, thing is that you cannot expect the same during the examination seekrama namak kuduthuruvanga ninga enakave koodadu you should not expect the invigilator would give you the omr 5 minutes early yeah 
because there will be a plastic cover inside which there will be OMR and question paper together. One plastic cover will be OMR and question paper will be OMR and question paper will be OMR and question paper will be OMR. If you have a question paper, you will be able to see it. Since question paper is also with the OMR, they will not hand over it to you earlier. Maybe you will be able to see it in one minute. distribute பண்ண ஆரம்பிக்கலாம் so that on the right time everybody gets it but it depends upon the individual invigilator only okay so you will have exactly two hours to do whatever you want two hours mudinja onne it is again the job of invigilator illaya if they are from the background of teaching or if they know the seriousness of his examination maybe 2 3 minutes ungalku extra time tharalam otherwise அவங்களோட ஒர்க் டூ அவர்ஸ் டூ அண்ட் ஆஃப் அவர்ஸ் ஏன்னா ஆஃப்டர் யூ கம்ப்ளீட் தி எக்ஸாமினேஷன் தே ஹாவ் டு பண்டில் இட் அண்ட் டூ இட் அண்ட் சைன் இட் தே ஹாவ் டு செட்டில் இட் இன் த ஆஃபீஸ் ரூம் டவுன் அண்ட் தே ஹாவ் டு லீவ் அதுக்கு ஒரு ஒன் ஹவர் ஆகும் ஸோ அவங்க தாட்ல நான் டூ ஹவர்ஸ்க்கு த்ரீ ஹவர்ஸ்க்கு தான் ஒர்க் பண்றேன் அதுக்கான சேலரி தான் எனக்கு தராங்க நான் அதை முடிச்சுட்டு டக்குனு கிளம்பணும்னு தான் அவங்க மைண்ட்செட்ல இருக்கும் பி இட் ஹோம் ஷோ எவர் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தம் வில் ஹாவ் சேம் மைண்ட் செட் ஓகே ஸோ யூ கேன் நாட் எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் அகைன் தென் டு கிவ் எக்ஸ்ட்ரா டைம் அட் த எண்ட் ஆஃப் த செஷன் About two hours, you can get all of them. And that is why I am telling you, please stick to that time. Two hours is your mock test. In the entire two hours, plan everything. Okay. And let me tell you uh, another point after some time. Okay. Yeah, this is the point. Anyways, I have it in the presentation. I thought it was, it's not there. Okay. Glance and start each section. சார் என்ன சார் இதுக்கு வேற டைம் ஆகுமே ஒன்றும் பெருசாக டைம் ஆகாது ஃபியூ செகண்ட்ஸ் இஸ் வாட் இட் வில் டேக் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ ஆல்ரெடி நோ டூ த சேம் ப்ராசஸ் லுக் இட் லுக் குவிக்லி த இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் லுக் குவிக்லி த கன்க்ளூஷன் பேசஜ் இஸ் அபவுட் வாட் டூ இட் ஃபார் இட்ஸ் அண்ட் எவ்ரி பேராகிராஃப் இன் அ பர்டிகுலர் செக்ஷன் எவ்வளோ டைம் ஆகும் ஃபார்ட்டி செகண்ட்ஸ் தேர்ட்டி செகண்ட்ஸ் டக்குன்னு பார்க்குறீங்க ஓகே இதில் இதுதான் சொல்ல வராங்க பார்க்குறீங்க இதில் இந்த பேசேஜில் இதான் சொல்ல வராங்க Okay, so over a section start point of view, do this. So initial 30 seconds to 40 seconds will give you an idea of familiar topics. Okay, in the passage, you have to start with the familiar topics, especially in legal. Okay, legal reasoning, a few topics would have been interesting. Okay, or confusing. That's why we have to focus on the other side. Fine. So let's say for example, vicarious liability. okay uh then what is in family law we have we have we have seen like triple talaq these kind of cases okay then uh, nuisance when we speak about uh, torts okay upper mail constitutional law okay so depends uh, article 32 based on what the right mm so neriya irukke article 370 based on irukkaradha okay So contracts based on your career, contingent contract uh, and violations are your career. So in the way on the path, you know, we have our interest area and also confusing areas. So based upon that, you decide with which we can start. So now you have a confusion in the homicide, murder, and difference area point you can start with that. So maybe you can start with that. Okay, so you, this will give you a clarity. Investing some 30 to 40 seconds before starting a section. will give you a clarity and confidence how to approach the particular section so do this idanala in the law so irukad please remember and idu enak exam day appo na paathukrana adu nadakkad from now whatever marks you take you practice only then in the actual day also you will be able to do it that is the reason that we are discussing it now okay now stick to the timing that i told you okay section wise timing we already discussed Anyways, I am showing it to you once again as a table from it. English has 24 questions, so the maximum time that you can give is 25 minutes. Current affairs GK, 10 minutes. Legal reasoning, 32 questions, 35 minutes. Logical reasoning, 34 questions, 35 minutes. Since logical reasoning is a bit critical, I am giving you 35. Illa sir, and you 30 years old, then take the 5 minutes. If you want current affairs, you can spend there. If you want math, you can spend there. Math, I have given 15 minutes. So wherever you are saving time, that will help you out in some other section especially math okay <clears throat> so either ideally i am telling you to follow but 
try to complete it before the last five minutes. Last five minutes, have it as your buffer time. Why last five minutes? Engage or passage like Allah question answer for anything. Or a question but or confusion on a bit of Okay, I'm going to end up on a you can revisit if you want, you can attempt it. If you have the right answer, you can attempt it. Or 50-50 approach. Eliminate two options. You are left with two options. And the you can take this risk. You can almost all the answer. You can the confusion. We have the good understanding of the passage. Apo nama choose pandra answer right ta arikrathu ko chances adi mo. Adriyu yepo when you have a 50-50 chance out of four options you eliminated two and you are left with two. Okay, only this time you choose any one as your answer. And most of the time, especially uh, when you look at you know uh, English and all. Okay. Don't overthink. So many times you have practiced, so many mocks you have taken. Okay. So if your mind says that is the right answer, go for it. Rumba Yoshi Kadinga. Naria mistakes puny learnings katachirka. Naria practice puny kinga. Naria mocks will be kinga. Apo Padichupatha is the answer no Mulukatona than especially section like English. Other answer are good. Okay. Legal number two when you use chance every time because in legal kind of uh, section only we'll start to think we'll get distracted okay fine we'll start to think outside english show will stick to the passage logical also will stick to passage legal will go beyond the passage so after what to reaffirm your answers once confirm okay so Time management is very, very, very important. So divide the time for each and every section. Uh, over a section, a section will pour up you. When you enter into a section, give some 30 to 40 seconds of time. Try to understand what each and every passage is about. Then start answering. Okay. For the last five minutes, buffer time which going on, wherever you left questions, you want to revisit during this five minutes, you have to go back. Make sure you have answered everything right. OMR lame mark pointing on paranga. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> since I spoke about OMR, I'll tell you once again about how we need to fill the OMR. OMR filling, don't go and mark after each and every question. Over a question, okay. Same way, don't mark. Everything together. Both of these things will uh, get you into trouble. First, uh, why am I telling you not to mark after each and every question? Because on the passage, you have a question answer. First question can answer other you will have a different opinion in your answer now. Now you don't, you know, you know, you have no option to change it. Are you able to understand? Okay, so don't go and mark after each and every question. Why don't, why should you should not take it to the last, last minute of the mark on you pressure, during the pressure, mark on you in one the if they are not caring about you, whether you have marked it or not, they will take away the OMR if you are losing track of time. So, what is the best way after each and every passage? You read a passage, okay, understand questions. Initially, you have question paper. Mark your answers in the question paper. Okay. Then after completing the entire passage, in the passage number two, six questions are Nenga two answer pondringa, three answer pondringa, four pondringa, five pondringa, all six pondringa, whatever the scenario is. After completing the entire passage, you mark it. Then go to next passage, complete, mark it in OMR. Complete the passage along with questions and mark it in OMR. Over passage, other key questions are complete. 
market in the OMR. This is the best strategy to follow. There is no advantage in that. One package to want to focus on the question number is easier to focus on the question number 50. Question number 51. 52, 53. In the Mario, you will have easier to map on the question number 50. Okay. Next is the question number 51. Clear? Fine. So keep this in your mind when you are filling the OIM. So you have to be cautious with all these points when you take the mock test. Okay, in the future. Next two weeks, you will have mock test. You will have all the points in the mind. You will try to try. Only then you will be able to implement all these things that we are discussing now in the actual exam also. It will not be useful. Okay. Fine. So let's come to the last part. Uh, maximize your preparation. We have already actually discussed about this. We have a lot of resources available. Okay, making use of those resources to maximize your preparation, especially with current affairs is what we are going to discuss with current affairs backlogs and without current affairs backlogs. So let's say, sir, so current affairs start panala. Abrina, that will fall under without current affair backlogs. Uh, with sorry, with current affair backlogs. Okay, so you have already prepared with most of the topics. Uh, then it is without current affair backlogs. So if it is with current affair backlogs, okay, the minimum time that you have to spend here would be three hours, one hour in the daily news. Okay, two hours, previous months. Fine. So this is what you should do. If you have no current affair backlogs, then what you can do? One of our revision, one hour for daily news. This is what you can do. Fine. Apart from this, I would recommend one hour preparation for reading comprehension, one hour for legal, one hour for logical, one hour minimum for want. This is applicable even here. Okay. Apo, if you have backlogs, the time that you have to spend minimum is seven hours with current affairs backlogs. Okay. Here, it would be six hours. Minimum. Okay. So, if you are going to school, then definitely managing time will be a very big challenge. But do we have any other option? No. Because only two weeks left, we have to maximize our preparation. And this is the minimum time that we need to invest in our preparation. Are we already spending this much time? Ask this question to yourself. Okay. Yes. So these are all the points I want to discuss with you. Uh, from uh, the beginning of the session, if you see, we understood what is the required score for the top law schools, good scores for top law schools, then what we should do to score to improve attempts, to improve accuracy, okay, then each and every section, what we need to do, what kind of practice we have to do, Okay, for the remaining 15 days, we have discussed about that, about the available resources and utilizing them. We have discussed and how to develop a test taking strategy that we discussed a few minutes back. Okay, and uh, this is how we need to maximize our preparation, the time that one needs to invest. Because it is that typical law, or a student of mindset, like a lot of people spend money, everybody spend money, and all that money is Preparation in my mind. So I think I have covered almost all those things here. Okay. So apart from this, if you have any doubts, now you can. 
আসলে people in online also you can ask you have been so quiet sir you know the continuous process one and a half hours they are getting distracted this 6 hours uh, 7 hours whatever i am putting here okay ninga continuous ah over the 6 hours to prepare panona kandipa yaralaye mudiyadu it's definitely not possible for someone to sit and prepare for more than 6 hours so the time that you have to fix is two hours two hours break two hours break two hours break why why two hours why am i giving this two hours because ninga okkanda elundha pora examination evlo hours ku two hours so i'll tell you two hours ku you have to keep your focus somewhere in one place right that is why i'm asking you to prepare continuously for two hours mainly நமக்கு தெரியும் ஃபார்ட்டி டுவெண்ட்டி மினிட்ஸ்க்கு மேலே ஒருத்தரால் ஒரு விஷயத்தை கான்சன்ட்ரேட் பண்ண முடியாது எல்லாம் சயின்டிஃபிக்காக என்னமோ சொல்லிப்பாங்க எல்லாம் கரெக்டு தான் பட் வி ஹேவ் அன் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் வேர் வி நீட் டு ஃபோக்கஸ் அண்ட் ரைட் இட் ஃபார் டூ ஹவர்ஸ் ஒன் டுவெண்ட்டி மினிட்ஸ் இன் ஒன் டுவெண்ட்டி கொஸ்டின்ஸ் வேறு என்ன பண்ண முடியும் ஸோ வி ஆர் அகைன் ப்ராக்டிசிங் ஃபார் தேட் டூ ஹவர்ஸ் அட் எ ஸ்ட்ரெச் ப்ரிப்பரேஷன் பிகாஸ் வி ஆர் ட்ரைங் டு ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் அ பர்டிகுலர் திங் அண்ட் ப்ராக்டிசிங் okay then you take a half an hour break then two hours half an hour break two hours half an hour break again two hours okay enak full day iruka entire day iruka for example monday la ungalku monday tuesdays la wednesdays kuda endha classes um illa mostly mondays and tuesdays la mock test um illa you have entire day so morning two hours prepare pandra half an hour break eduthukra again two hours prepare pandra okay then maximize your break two hours break eduthukra i have lunch i have to relax my mind okay so two hours three hours a break eduthukringa then again what you do two hours preparation half an hour break two hours preparation half an hour break in case ninga office vandu padikringa center ku vandu padikringa nalle ungala idu panna mudiyum இது போக வீட்டில் உங்களுக்கு டைம் இருக்குன்னா டூ ஹவர்ஸ் டூ ஹவர்ஸ் இந்த மார்னிங் டூ ஹவர்ஸ் ஏர்லி மார்னிங் டூ ஹவர்ஸ் நைட்டு டூ ஹவர்ஸ் யூ வில் பி ஏபிள் டு ஸ்பெண்ட் ஸோ ஐடியலி ஒரு என்டையர் டே நீங்கள் ஸ்பெண்ட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு ரெடியாக இருந்தீங்கன்னா எயிட் ப்ளஸ் ஃபோர் டுவெல் ஹவர்ஸ் மினிமம் பண்ண முடியும் ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ண முடியும் வித் பிரேக்ஸ் இன் பிட்வீன் ஓகே ஃபைவ் ஹவர்ஸ் டு சிக்ஸ் ஹவர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்லீப் இஸ் இனஃப் ஃபார் யூ டுவெல் டு சிக்ஸ் ஸ்லீப் இஸ் இனஃப் over 20 days six hours of sleep is more than enough to get you relaxed 12 to 6 remaining extra time for learning you can spend like this okay two hours preparation half an hour break two hours preparation half an hour break madhya and time la venuna one hour break and the morning eduthukla okay so this is what you need to think about so from now on you have to start thinking about clat each and every moment okay parents kadaik poidu va clat ku prepare panniterenga ana unmaya panniterukonu summa solla kudadu okay endha vela vandha school la nda call panni vara solranga already leave potirukinga na you are dedicated in your clat preparation right so you have no other choice you have to give them the reason that you are preparing or a genuine some genuine reason okay and you have to prepare for your class so no distractions that is what i'm telling you okay there in saturday va sunday va friends ella movies ku poirupanga relatives movies ku poirupanga kudave irukonga sibling parents ella movie poravanga but this is not the time for you to do it okay so that's the point we discussed earlier prioritize padam paakala or 20 days kalichu poyittu varapadam ellathiyum poi theater la paarenga yaar vena angra fine at this point of time with just two weeks left for a very significant examination like clad okay what should be prioritize த்ரீ ஹவர்ஸ் அங்கே போய் ப்ரிப்பேர் பா படம் பார்க்கறதுக்கு பதில் நான் டூ ஹவர்ஸ் மார்க் எழுதி ஒன் ஹவர் அனலைஸ் பண்ணலாம் தான் இப்போ நம்ம யோசிக்கணும் ஓகே 
Right. Any any other doubts? So the action examination for one, uh, in the actual examination, uh, you will have two pages attached along with your question paper for doing the rough work. So obviously, math the lemon in Adela Potabatala. Whatever uh, calculations you need to do for math, you can do it in the last couple of pages left for you to use it as rough sheet. Question paper lands and mark on us. Question paper mark on the mark on the restriction. Question paper on the underline pandra, mark pandra, though it was not a problem at all when it comes to CLAT. So far, in the euro, most of the problem is And you need not worry. See, uh, in the, the OMR sheet given to you will also have a carbon copy paper and another OMR. Rendu OMR sheet will be You should not tear it. Okay, that's the one Yeah, whatever answers you are marking, carbon copy is in the OMR. So, you, uh, at the end of the examination, the investigator will tell you to separate the OMRs. Upon the OMR sheet, you carbon paper, you thermoning a put the ring actual OMR and the carbon paper. You have to submit it to the investigator. The carbon copied OMR, you can take it along with you because within the next couple of days, the official answer key will be out. Then you can check how much you got. So, question paper mark one number, I was actually ill, but when you know, mark one of chicken, yeah, mark one of chicken on a soldier because I'm going to discuss one now. When you have to mark in the OMR sheet, first to a passage, other than answers a mark on a question paper, then you take it and mark it in the OMR. So it's okay to mark it in the OMR question paper. Hmm. Okay. Every day morning and before you leave, just give us some motivation. Hey, you are in Allah, and now in the American day, right? <laughs> Fine. So when we were at your age, like 17s and 18s, okay, in the exams, we don't have anything. Now all you guys have everything with you and you are already matured. Very very mindset la soldra. Okay, most of you are already matured. Okay, uh, adult bar thing pan aram stinga. So yehi ko mulkala motivation hai. Yes sir. Self motivated hai rukun da. So now our slide la board the kamsha. Yehi ke. Self motivated. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, we don't go in some. We don't get We have a WhatsApp group. No, I will share you motivational videos. Watch them. Hey, Nama Klein, not a motivation. One genuine show is a song like a motivation on the Nama. See, look at this. This is, this is for motivation, not to make you afraid. The discipline of the Yara. Okay. This should be your motivation. I desire to do something. I'll stick to it and I'll do it. This is your motivation. What else is required? Daily on Sachin Abdul Kalam boomer forward Okay. Yeah, though I'll try to do it. <laughs> but in other part of the motivation, be self-motivated. Come on, motivate me, motivate me now. Only that which you take any other one motivate. Often in a class of one and a path pair of Anjibar, the ring and one of them, at least Marco Matuma Children in Allah, all over again. I think last uh, Sunday was the maximum number of friends who attempted from your batch, offline marks. Okay, around 15 or more, other way maximum out of 40 students. Ingapur, the practice for Panil Pinga, every actual exam of Poyto OMR, the correct of Hilponinga. But you become a motivation, Yanaka could bar. Okay, so so yeah, as, uh, okay, there is a, another doubt here. Reading section, my accuracy is uh, low, uh, especially in English recently. How should I analyze? This is not just for you. 
நிறைய பேருக்கு இந்த ப்ராப்ளம் வந்துருக்கு இந்த ரீசன் மார்க்ஸ் டு ஃபியூ டேக் மெனி ஆர் கமிட்டிங் மிஸ்டேக்ஸ் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் எஸ்பெஷலி ஓகே சி வெரி சிம்பிள் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பாயிண்ட் ஐ வுட் சே ஆல்ரெடி நான் சில பாயிண்ட் சொல்லிட்டேன் ஐ இல் அகைன் ரிப்பீட் தோஸ் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் பட் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பாயிண்ட் ஐ வுட் சே இஸ் டோன்ட் டேக் லாஜிக்கல் அண்ட் இங்கிலீஷ் டுகெதர் லாஜிக்கலாக முடிச்சுட்டு இங்கிலீஷ்க்கு வராதீங்க இங்கிலீஷ் முடிச்சுட்டு லாஜிக்கல் போகாதீங்க பிகாஸ் போத் லுக் சிமிலர் ஓகே லீகல் அட்லீஸ்ட் தேர் ஆர் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் அப்ளிகபிள் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் சொல்லிட்டு சில கேஸ் ஸ்டடிஸ் இருக்கு பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் வி ஆர் ஏபிள் டு ஃபைன் அவுட் இன் த பேசேஜ் பட் இட் த சேம் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் திங் டஸ் நாட் ஒர்க் வித் இங்கிலீஷ் அண்ட் லாஜிக்கல் ரீசனிங் பேசேஜ் இருக்கு கொஷன்ஸ் இருக்கு பேக்கேஜ் இருக்கு கொஷன்ஸ் இருக்கு so what happens is the strategy that we uh, do for both will become same when you do it together english la solve panide vand adhe mentality la neenga enna panuvinga you go for logical also that is one significant reason to score lose marks in english and logical logical la panide vand english ku porudhu so in english most of the time less number of traps answers will be evidently available okay only with a few questions you sh- you will end up with confusions actual clarity soldra marks leave most of the marks not all the marks most of the marks leave okay uh, in depth analysis of the passage is not required when it comes to english go through the passage get to an understanding you will be able to answer most of the questions in english still if you find doubts confused leave the question for later no leave the question simple logical reasoning requires a, uh, a lot of understanding okay and analytical skills should be used only then you will be able to answer the questions because finding the flaw criti- criti- uh, criti- criticizing the passage criticizing the statements made by the author uh, strengthening weakening finding the flaw uh, inferred cannot be inferred in the mari nariya types of questions nam enga face pandrom na logical reasoning la which means you should have a clear understanding of the premises given which are examples or evidence provided by the author to prove his conclusion so in the understanding irundha mattum than clear understanding irundha mattum than you will be able to answer these kind of questions so analytical skills are much more required when it is logical reasoning adhu english eduthina and the level ka analytical skills use panna thevilla but yes we do have to use some analytical skills but and the level ka logical reasoning la pandra alavuk thevilla okay so most of the time when you feel something as the answer in uh, answer in english just go for it iduva irukuma iduva irukuma avara confusions ke varavana and again if you are ending up with these two options try eliminating one option convince yourself or option edu ipo option b irukku option d irukku option b a eduthita if i have to eliminate this why should i eliminate this convince yourself if i have to eliminate option d the fourth one convince yourself why should i eliminate this keywords match avada keywords match avada but meaning match avada check pannunga okay that is the very very significant thing inference based questions la maximum nam mistake pandrathukku reason e idha we are matching the keywords inference la keyword matching will not work out 99% okay inference type of questions la you have to contextually match the meaning okay rc and both have inference inference questions will be there in both rc and uh, logical reason so is there like any particular difference other difference is not there inference na inference na so there is no difference right hmm you need understanding of the passage yeah you need understanding of passages ஓகே இல்லைன்னா அவனே கொடுத்துருப்பா வாட் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் அவர் இன்ஃபர் ஃப்ரம் த கோட்டட் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட்னு இருக்கும் கோட் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் இருக்கு ஸோ அதுல இருந்து என்ன அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பண்ணிக்கிறோங்கிறது எழுதணும் ஃபார் தட் ஆல்சோ யூ மேட் ரெக்வர் தி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஆஃப் த பேசேஜ் ஓகே பிகாஸ் வேர் த ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் ஹேஸ் பின் யூஸ்ட் அப்போ அதுக்கு முன்னாடி இருக்க ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட்டுக்கும் அப்புறம் இருக்க ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட்டும் கூட அதை ஹெல்ப் பண்ணும் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தட் பெட்டர் அப்போ அந்த ஒரு லைனை மட்டும் படிச்சுட்டு ஓகே இதை இதுதான் சொல்ல வராங்கன்னு ஆன்சருக்கு போறதை விட the line in the use panirukanga nu radhiyu paathittu you decide your answer okay that is what you can do so most of the time as i told you when you come with two options okay what do you do convince yourself why should i eliminate a particular option why should i choose a particular option neenga think pandra pa da enna nadakudhu rendu option me correct ah dhaan irukke abbinga thought varudhu so adhu opposite ah pannunga nu solren why should i eliminate this option one convince yourself passage la ipdi kuduthirukanga apdi kuduthirukanga appo indha option na eliminate pandren so 
ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி கன்வின்ஸ் பண்ணி ட்ரை பண்ணுங்க ஓகே ஸோ இஃப் யூ டூ திஸ் ஓகே யூ வில் பி ஏபிள் டு ஓவர் கம் திஸ் சேலஞ்ச் நெக்ஸ்ட்டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஆஃப் சச் மிஸ்டேக்ஸ் இஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அதுக்கு நான் ரிப்பீட் பண்ணுறேன் த சேம் பாயிண்ட் தட் ஐ டோல் யூ டேக் த ப்ரீவியஸ் மார்க்ஸ் இது யாருமே சரி யாருமே சொல்லலை மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தம் ஆர் நாட் டூ அதுக்கு ஒரு சோம்பே எடுத்துடும் நமக்கு என்னது நான் ரிப்பீட்டடாக சொல்லிட்டு இருக்கேன் டேக் த ப்ரீவியஸ் த்ரீ டு ஃபோர் மார்க் டெஸ்ட் டுகெதர் ஓகே ஸ்பென்ட் சம் டூ ஹவர்ஸ் ஒரு செக்ஷனுக்கு மட்டும் ஒன்லி ஃபார் ஒன் செக்ஷன் ஸ்பென்ட் டூ ஹவர்ஸ் பட் டேக் ப்ரீவியஸ் த்ரீ டு ஃபோர் மார்க் டெஸ்ட் கீப் இட் இஃப் பாசிபிள் ஃபைவ் மார்க் டெஸ்ட் இங்கிலீஷ் மட்டும் எடுங்க செக் பண்ணி பாருங்கள் திரும்பவும் என்ன மாதிரி மிஸ்டேக்லாம் பண்ணியிருக்கீங்க அப்படிங்கிறது செக் பண்ணி பாருங்கள் Another two of us take legal reasoning. Four to five marks together. Check it. Logical reasoning. Check it. Current affairs to math up to in the mari pannu mura avasya mara. But reading section kundi nge in the mari kandi go pannu. Okay. So these are the two things that you have to keep in your mind to increase your accuracy. Okay. And uh, analysis, analysis ko na adhe point of story ke take couple of marks together. take a particular section and analyze so that you will understand your mistakes clearly and you will be able to rectify them okay any other doubts okay so we will wind up for now but even if you come up with any other doubts you know how to reach me right so you can call me or you can message me and give your doubts or if you are present direct we can discuss directly okay so clarify doubts you no know, 15 days ah irukengiradanal edaachu mind la or thought odiyo illa doubt odiyo irukavenda whatever your doubt is whatever your challenges discuss with us you see whatever what you, whatever you think as a problem it might have a solution only if you reach out and ask the right person you will get the solution இதுதான் பிரச்சனை இதுதான் பிரச்சனை இதுதான் பிரச்சனை சொல்லிட்டு நீங்க முடிவு பண்ணிட்டு அப்படியே இருந்தீங்கன்னா அது பிரச்சனையாவே தான் இருக்கும் இட் வில் ஸ்டில் பி அ ப்ராப்ளம் ஓகே ஸோ ரீச் அவுட் டு சம்மன் ஹூ ஹேஸ் ஆல்ரெடி ஃபேஸ்ட் சச் அ ப்ராப்ளம் டிப்பிகலி இட் டசன் மீன் ஐ ஹேவ் ஃபேஸ்ட் த ப்ராப்ளம் பட் ஐ ஹேவ் சீன் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஃபேஸிங் சோ மெனி ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ ஆர் சம்மன் லைக் மீ மே பி ஏபிள் டு ஆன்சர் யுவர் கொஸ்டின் ஆன்சர் யுவர் ப்ராப்ளம் ஃபைண்ட் சொல்யூஷன் டு யுவர் ப்ராப்ளம் ரைட் so whatever problems or challenges you face please reach out to someone like me or me okay so that you will be able to find a solution for it and now is already late so don't delay it further okay fine let's wind up with the session with the remaining study i want everyone of you to strictly follow uh, whether it is a class or a mock okay make use of the time wisely right so a couple of weeks left and all the best to all of you okay thank you